There are all kinds of things astronauts can do on board the International Space Station that we simply can't do here on Earth. Like float, or simply gaze upon the Earth from a very rare vantage point, or create the fifth state of matter. There are four natural states of matter. Can you name them? They are solids, liquids, gases, and plasma. But in the extreme conditions of space, a strange and exotic fifth type of matter, known as Bose-Einstein condensates, can take shape. We'll refer to them as BECs. As you might have guessed from the name, Albert Einstein had a hand in predicting BECs, along with Indian mathematician Sajendra Nas Bose about 100 years ago. The substance forms when atoms of certain elements are trapped using lasers and cooled to near absolute zero. That's zero degrees Kelvin or minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. Bitterly, bitterly cold. At that point, atoms stop behaving individually. Instead, they clump together and act like a single quantum object with both wave and particle properties. BECs are also very fragile, so studying them on Earth is almost impossible, and labs can only maintain them for milliseconds. Scientists have been experimenting with them on Earth since the 90s, but in microgravity, BECs can last more than a full second. Astronauts created them from atoms of a soft metal called rubidium using something called the Cold Atom Lab, which was sent to the ISS in 2018. So why go to all the work of creating BECs at all? Well, they can be used to study quantum mechanics on a macroscopic level, which opens up all kinds of doors. Everything from improving spacecraft navigation, to simulating the possible conditions inside a black hole, to unlocking the mysteries of dark energy. What they've achieved on board the ISS is more of a technological win for now, but it's a taste of what might be possible one day in the future. For Space TV News, I'm Cambry Caldwell.